If someone asked me about Alex, I would say he's probably one of the kindest young men I've ever met. He loved golf with everything. He loved his friends, loved his family. He just, he wanted to make everybody smile. He was an amazing kid. And I'm not telling it just because he was my son. He really was. Tonight, we want to dedicate our show to local teenager Alex Trevino. He spent his life with a loving family, one of three siblings, and would describe himself as part of a sandwich with his two sisters. He had one older, one younger, and he was stuck right there in the middle. Unfortunately, three years ago, Alex was diagnosed with Ewing's sarcoma. It's one of the rarest forms of childhood cancer in the United States, with only about 200 new cases diagnosed per year in this country. Alex won his initial battle with the disease, but later his cancer would relapse. Another lengthy fight later, and then Alex, one week ago from today, passed away at the age of 16. If you ask about Alex to those who knew him best, one word you'll hear often is happy. If you see all his pictures, you see his smile. All the pictures I have of him, he will give you a smile. His love for life may have only been matched by his love for his favorite sport. While he was a student at New Tech Odessa, Alex also competed as part of Permian's golf team. Well, looking at that, I'm like, he was happy, and he wanted to impact others in a positive way, and seeing that, like I said, I'll never forget that. Well, I mean, he, he had a passion for it. He loved golf. I mean, you know, when you love and have a passion for anything, you're going to be good at it. That passion for the game was one of the many factors that fueled his fighting spirit. He will be feeling so bad. Like he had really bad moments, but he would go back and say, I'm going to keep going. At last year's PGA Texas Open, Alex received one of the highlights of his life, a VIP experience through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, spending much of the day with his favorite golfer, Jordan Spieth. He was on the green, and Jordan let him hit a putt. Well, he nails about a 15-footer, I mean, first try. And Jordan looks at him, starts laughing, and I started laughing, too. I was, you know, Jordan had been missing some putts in tournaments, and Alex steps up and hits that 15-footer right in the heart, and uh, that, that was a good moment. That was a good moment for Alex. Though Alex can no longer directly affect lives, his memory always will. I'm going to remember his smile and his attitude and how he just kept going. All the love he gave me is so much because he he would love to cuddle. He he was so like he would give so much love. While Alex received so much support, his mother says his faith gave him more comfort than anything else. I would always tell him who loves you, Papi, and he would tell me God God loves me. He always recognized that God gave him all the strength he had. Alex's family did want to give a special thanks to the many people who supported him through his journey. These are a few of those individuals. His favorite nurse here, Deborah, that was them on Halloween. They shared a very special connection. Also, his grandparents right here, Wilfredo and Cecilia Ruiz, they would take him to the hospital several times throughout his fight. His grandmother would cook him whatever he was craving at any point in the day, whatever food he wanted. And if you would like to help out with the fight against this disease, this is one of the many organizations specifically raising money for this type of cancer. The Sarcoma Foundation of America, their website, curesarcoma.org. And we wanted to leave you with one last story, which really sort of tells his fight, fighting spirit that he had, his determination. As part of that Make-A-Wish experience with Jordan Spieth, Alex actually became an official golfer of Titleist, one of the most recognizable brands, of course, on tour. And when they gave him his own set of clubs, as you see, he asked uh, if he could have a cancer ribbon etched onto his sand wedge. And they, of course, did that. Then, after that, he asked next to it if they could put times two, because in his words, he had already beaten cancer once, and he was going to do it again. Alex Trevino, 16 years old. We'll be right back after this.